What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Then We Eat. Can you tell we like making meat on this channel? Well if you haven't yet, you're about to find out because on this week's episode we're going to be making deep fried ribs. Deep fried ribs may sound incredibly difficult, but they're actually pretty easy. We're gonna start with one cup of flour in a bowl. To that, we're gonna add a whole bunch of spices. We've got a tablespoon of salt, a teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of Tex-Mex, two teaspoons of white pepper, a tablespoon of paprika, a tablespoon of ground black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of smoked devil pepper powder. You can use chipotle chili powder if you'd like. And finally, two teaspoons of onion powder. So we're gonna add all eight spices into our bowl with our flour, give it a mix. So that's it, that's your spice. All mixed up, ready to go. Next up, we'll get the ribs going. So we've got one, one rack of side ribs here. I've already gone ahead, cut them into individual rib pieces, and I've gone ahead and removed the silver skin. This one didn't actually have silver skin, so I didn't have to. If yours does have it, just take a knife, kind of score a little piece of it, It'll peel up the skin, take a paper towel, rip it off, and you'll be good to go. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna dredge our ribs in our flour mixture, and then it'll be time to start deep frying. All right, so let's get dredging. So just throw a rib in, and we're gonna, just gonna keep turning it over and over until it's been seven, turned seven times on each side. Seven is just kind of a rough guess I like to use because I find that it gets nice and dredged that way. You just want to make sure you get the whole thing dredged and the more times you turn it over, the more likely it is to have all that flour stick. So there you have it. One dredged rib. I'm gonna go ahead, I'll dredge the rest, and then we'll be back to start deep frying. Now we don't have a very big deep fryer, so I'm only gonna do about four at a time. So you're just gonna to wanna to drop them in gently and carefully, and then let them fry up for about 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna check mine after 10 just to make sure things are coming along. I may need to turn them over, but in the meantime, we'll let them cook. And I am putting them meat side down, the bone side is up. That way the meat can cook a little bit more than the bone because it's more important that the meat cooks than the bone. So we'll leave that about 10 minutes. We'll give them a check. If they're not ready, 15 it is. We'll see you in 10 or 15 minutes. And we're back. We've cooked up three batches of ribs. They were about 15 minutes each. As you can see, they're nice and crispy, nice and brown. Let's give them a taste, see how they are. Mmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's really good. As you can hear, you got a really nice crunch on that. The spice flavor is unbelievable. These are excellent. Highly, highly recommend. That's it for this video. Hit like if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload next. Share the video with all of your friends and let us know in the comments below. What did you think of this rib recipe? Or better yet, what do you want to see us make next? Oh, and don't forget, first we cook, then we eat. Mmm, so good.